I'm on a quest to find the best D1 college basketball experience in Massachusetts, and on opening night, I find myself in Alston at Laviette's Pavilion, home of the Harvard Crimson as they take on UMass Boston and the Beacons. The parking was pretty easy to access and convenient, but there was no specific lot or garage, it was just kind of right along the Coliseum, so we gave it a 7 out of 10. Even at night, you could tell that this was THE Harvard University, just based off the vibes of the South Campus, but there wasn't much to do around here, and there was absolutely no one around, so we still gave it a 7 out of 10 for campus vibes. Now when you walk into La Viette, there is absolutely negative concourse. There's no shrine or displays for any of Harvard's basketball achievements. The side hallway is what classifies as a circular concourse, and there was only one bathroom and it was tiny. It was overall clean, but unimpressive, giving it a 3 out of 10 for facilities. The pavilion's court arena was awesome. It was well lit, it had a great jumbotron, and despite its size, it felt like you were at a great place to watch basketball for an 8 out of 10. There also wasn't a bad seat in the house. It felt like wherever you sat, you were going to have a fantastic view, giving it a 9 out of 10. The player intros were really all that you could ask for in a Ivy League school, 7 out of 10. The jerseys did look like they haven't changed in the last 100 years, but they're clean and they're simple, plus they contrasted great with UMB's sick looking city edition jerseys. So we'll give their uniforms a 7 out of 10. Now unfortunately, there was absolutely no student section at all. In fact, it appeared that there was a UMass Boston student section more than there was a Harvard student section. For that reason, it's going to get a 0 out of 10 on student section. Now, there was only one concession stand in the entire arena, but it had some pretty solid options and it wasn't too expensive, all things considered, so it gets another 7 out of 10. I wish I could say the game day atmosphere was good, but it definitely gave off the vibe of we're Harvard, like from Legally Blonde, not a state school. The crowd simply wasn't into the game until the last minute, despite the staff's best efforts through the half court shot, choose the right ball. The stadium was only two thirds full, and probably half of those were Beacons fans, so the atmosphere is going to get a 2 out of 10. However, this was a great game to watch as Harvard won easily behind Thomas Baddies II, Malik Mack, and Justin Agjogbor. Props to freshman 35 Ace Nasty, also known as Luka Ace Nasteski. But the Beacons' Emmanuel Zayas looked like he was the best player on the court for the majority of the game, and he led the Beacons with 25 and 3 on the game. Altogether, Harvard University is going to receive a score of 57 out of 100. I'm here in Cambridge, Massachusetts, attempting the walk-on challenge, courtesy of GFED. Uh, Cambridge, Massachusetts, home of Harvard, notably. Um, uh, that's it, I'm on. Oh, that was very easy. Open, open gate. This is sick. Wow. Look at this place, huh? The Coliseum at Harvard. There we are. I've been on the field.